60-year-old Keith does it for the last. Hit me one more time. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? As a driver, experience counts. And there's no more experienced driver on the Metropolitan Line than 60-year-old Keith Tibbles, who began on the underground aged 15. My father said to me, you ever come on London Underground, I'll kick your backside. I said, you better keep your backside, I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> His father worked for 24 years on the underground, and Keith started as a boy porter at Amersham. I remember my first day, steam train came into Amersham. The driver said, there's something bouncing underneath, he says. And we got down there to look at somebody's head. So I was, I was broken gently. The world's first underground railway, and originally steam, the Metropolitan Line was only electrified past Rickmansworth in 1961. When you're a kid, you get a smell of steam in your, in your lungs, you know, and it never leaves you. It never leaves you, and you smell a steam train, you oh, lovely. It's great. Keith is coming to the end of his career. He's retiring today, and after 44 years of service, is about to drive a train for the last time. All the characters are gradually going over the years. We were just saying this morning how it's only four generations ago that the Metropolitan Railway started, so if you think of uh, four people that were doing the same amount of service as Keith has done, that's when it all began. So it's quite a historical moment, in a way. You're going to be missed, Keith, you know that. <laughs> Last trip? Yes, sir. Okay. Enjoy yourself. See ya. See ya. Hit me one more time. <sighs> Lovely, innit? Oh, I love the Met, yeah. Well, it shows, doesn't it? I'm the longest serving chap on the, on the Met. 44 years and seven months, which is a lifetime. Ooh, guilt. Fast Maker Street train, calling Har on the Hill, Wembley Park, Fitchy Road and Baker Street only. Staying clear of the doors, please. Well, a bit, a bit sad in some ways because it's an era, isn't it? Dinosaur, anyway. You've got to go with modern times, but I can't. I can't move on. And when something comes along new, we don't like it. I still reckon the old way's the best. If I had a pound for every time I'd run up and down here, I'd be a millionaire. I wouldn't need a lottery. This is Baker Street. This train terminates here. All change, please. Would you make sure you have all your belongings with you when you leave the train? Oh, put me aching back. old-fashioned ways, it's been hard to keep up in a high-tech world. All, right. All Keith has to worry about is clearing out his locker. Never looked at all this, sir. Time table, 90... What's that? 1988? Blooming egg. Look at that, mate, the old guard's bar. I think it used to be on an A60. Guard bar. I kept that. It's gone a bit uh, rusty now. But that was bright chrome. That was. And they were doing away with them. I thought, I'll have one for a souvenir. Like the old guards bar. Hey, that takes you back, did not it, eh? After 44 years of service, who's having his retirement party? What's about, mate? What's about? Oh, oh, oh. Should I have my camera? Oh, oh, oh. Stevie, babe. How are you going? All right? Hello? Hello? Just oh, mate, you're better now. Oh, good. I never knew I was so popular. 
It must be the jokes. He said, have you heard this one? A horse goes into a pub and he says, what a long face. <laughs> Yeah, they're all there. The underground's network manager, Andy Barr, is there to see Keith off. It's been good, it's been good, it's been good working with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I upset you? Even, Keith, you've never upset me. Not, not much anyway. How many years have you got in? 40, 44. 44. And I've got 38. He's only a boy. 39 in September. I reckon that Keith has driven about 1.25 million miles, okay, or about 2 million kilometres on a Met train. You know, uh, the rest days. Uh, <laughs> right? And if you think about that in context, that means that if we could do it, he's probably driven a Met train around the equator 50 times. It took me six months, but I've done it. <coughs> Only oh, Jim, sure. Mr. Tibbles. Oh, it's in the box. I actually counted the matchsticks. It was 3,502. Wow. <laughs> that choked me more than anything. John making me that. Oh, God. I'm the person in the tears. You can feel the love, you know. Everybody loves you, even the jokes. <laughs>